Hi friends, today we will discuss about the interceptor uh, that's in Angular. You must have faced some situation where you have to send some kind of uh, token or something in each and every API call to the uh, server. And also you need to check or handle the error case uh, from some cent centralized place. Right, so uh, that's one point and let's check how we can achieve this. So this is basically we'll be using angular interceptor http interceptor basically so as you can see uh, here i have a demo application the basic application which is installed using the uh, default command engine new and here let me show you the code first i have one interceptor created that's my interceptor.ts and inside that what i have i just have one intercept function and from here I am returning the one observable and as you can see in the request I am just uh, cloning the request and adding headers and in that header just adding a token variable and the value is test token just returning the uh, observable from here so this is basically intercepting the HTTP request right and the handler has been uh, returned from here and in app module obviously we will have to provide this uh, interceptor we have to provide this interceptor in the uh, app module also now let's see if, if we try to let's let me open the app component ts file here you can see i simply called one http get called using and i'm hitting one endpoint which is not present i don't have any endpoint i don't have any backend at all it's just a dummy api so it will return 404 so let's see how it's working. Let me open the dev tool. Let me uh, refresh this. So as you can see, this API call uh, is in place and it's giving 404. This is quite correct. So we have to handle this situation, right? So that uh, let's take it step by step. So first we need to send the header. So this is the endpoint, and here we have this token, test token. Now, if we change this to something else, let's check if this is the correct one or not. Say this one or anything else. Automatically, the user call will be placed, and you can see this is the one as going as uh, token. Right. So uh, basically, from here we can send anything in the header, or we can uh, send anything in the header request. Currently, I'm sending the token. Now. Uh, that's part from the, uh, that's that's the sending data to <coughs> api endpoint now if you want to handle the error scenario as you know this api currently will give us 404 now let's see how we can handle it so uh, as you can see it's 404 we're saying now let me show you how i'm doing this so here i'm just calling the handle method and inside that i'm just adding one cacher from rsjs operator and here I'm checking if error status is 401 then I'm just giving the alert and if it's 404 then I'm giving the alert that it's 404 then I'm uh, writing the true error so let's go to the console also and check so this is the API failed this is the console that's that's the console first one this console is giving all the details what we have in the error and this is the one like message the true error I have written here and obviously the alert message you have already seen so it's 404 now basically this is the use of http interceptor and from here as you can see if you have any 404 error you can easily navigate to some other page or in case of error you will you will uh, give some generic message at the uh, page top that uh, currently api issue or currently uh, there have some issue in the backend you can try later so this kind of message can be handled from here easily so from one centralized place so that's all for this video thanks thanks everyone for watching this video